hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to start a series on uh, iot the internet of things using packet tracer so basically packet tracer provides uh, the smart environment the smart components through which you can implement several smart technology for example smart home smart office etc etc and um, to access the iot tabs we just click on the end devices and then uh, under home we just click home and you see all the iot devices are uh, provided under the right tab and also if you want to see other devices you just click on smart city and uh, these are the devices that are provided under the smart city and uh, also for industrial there are a lot of s smart devices here that you can use uh, in the component and also power grid there are also smart devices here so before you may start uh, uh, simulating the smart devices there are some devices that are required for you to start uh, doing that and one of, the one of the devices is called the home gateway or the wireless router so the home gateway would provide um, uh, the Wi-Fi connection because these devices will be connecting them through wireless network so the home gateway will be providing the wireless connection to the devices and it also will be providing a registration server to these IoT devices remember we want to control these devices and the, we must access the console, the management console the platform, the device that is giving the management console is the home gateway so here is the home gateway when you just click on um, the network devices then you click on the wireless devices uh, just a minute here is the home gateway so we'll be needing this that's the first device that you should install or include in your workspace so let's say this is our home gateway okay today is just uh, connecting the devices and uh, we want to include a lot of devices here a lot of smart devices for example uh, we want to include uh, the selling fan we want to include the smart door uh, also we want to include um, immunity detector we want to include um, um, learn sprinkler for sprinkling water in case of fire we want to include uh, the light to illuminate the room we want to include the uh, smoke, smoke detector okay in case there's fire smoke detector will provide an alarm uh, and we want to include let's say uh, that smart uh, music player we want to include a siren to make noise in case of uh, any emergency um, smoke detector is here also want to include uh, the temperature monitor and uh, there's a lot of devices that you can include uh, in the workspace So guys, basically, I think these are the devices that we are going to use in this IoT session or the series of IoT that you just started. And remember, I have said that this home gateway will provide Wi-Fi network, the wireless connection to these devices, meaning all these devices obtains an IP address from this home gateway. Okay, and it also provides the management console for all these devices okay remember this this old car and the triple camera are not connected to the home gateway why we did we, we've not enabled the wi-fi card there because it's not enabled by default so we need to do it manually so you just go to physical i mean config and um just a minute just go to advanced click advance here 
uh, then go to IS conf I IO config then network adapter just choose uh, the wireless one PMT IOT NM wireless okay and that's done and also for this one you see now it's connected I just go to advanced here down let's go IO config and uh, just choose the wireless uh, let's say for the next the second card let's choose the, that one and uh, that's done now it's connected but for this one i'll not be using it uh, still so these are the most uh, these are the devices that we're going to use mostly and as i have said the device here the home kit will provide a management console for all these devices so to provide a management console we should have uh, a device and an end device to monitor the IoT devices. The end device can be a, any wireless device. So for example, I can choose my laptop, my tablet or my smartphone. Let's say I'm using a tablet. Okay. So let's just give it time to connect to the home gateway. If it doesn't connect, I'll check uh, the password and the username of home gateway. Remember the home gateway mostly is used for IoT. So you just go to config then wireless and uh, you can see uh, the name is just home, home gateway the wi-fi name is uh, home gateway no password so i just go to tablet uh, config you come to wireless zero and the wi-fi name is home gateway just paste that and close and it will be connected and assigned an IP address so as you can see here it has been connected and assigned IP address so guys in this in this in this class I've shown you how to I've shown you the devices that we're going to use in this session I've shown you how which device will be connecting these devices for example the home gate is the core device here because it connects these devices and I've also shown you how to add a Wi-Fi card an interface on an IoT device suppose it doesn't have the Wi-Fi card installed on it okay and I've also shown you how to add a management device which will be our tablet so guys as you have seen this all of these devices have connected to home gateway meaning uh, in the home gateway they have accessed the management console so let's access the management console from our tablet we just click on the tablet and uh, go to desktop and you go to IoT monitor you just click on IoT monitor and let's log in let's log in let's log in give it some time so as per now you know we have logged in successfully but there's no there's no listed devices here why we've not registered the devices in the iot server so we just need to register each device on the iot server let's start with this uh, old car we we'll click on the old car uh, it's hanging uh, then you come to physical sorry you come to config and you choose home gateway and IoT server, let's register it to home gateway. This is our home gateway. It's now registered. We just click on the portable music. So I'll do it very very fast. Then we come we come to the phone to see if it's registered. Okay, so we've registered all the devices to the home gateway. So we'll just go back to our tablet and see if they are now listed. So I'll just log out. So we log in again. So you can see all the devices are being listed here. 
you can see all the devices that you registered are being listed listed here and from this uh, phone uh, from this tablet we can control all the devices let's say we want to open this door iot door so I'll just uh, search where the door is click on the door and uh, let's lock it now you can see it's uh, locked originally it was opened unlocked so it's unlocked it's green now lock again uh, it's locked it's red and uh, let's turn on the fan let's search where the fan is the silent fan let's turn the fan low you can see there's just one circle around it high there are two circles around it okay all right another thing that you can turn on is uh, um, let's say uh, webcam okay this webcam let's just turn it on so you can see it's on and it's uh, it's red here so that's how to control iot devices it's pretty much simple you just have to know which uh, which gateway to use the use get home gateway you connect you put the devices that you want to use then you register them to the home gateway okay it's very simple and uh, finally you include the management device which might be our wireless uh, uh, tablet the smartphone or the laptop okay even if i put laptop here let's say the laptop i put it there and then um, you know what laptop doesn't have a wi-fi card by default so we have to install it we remove the, we turn it off then we remove the existing model <coughs> and we input that one and we turn on the laptop again then we come to config well as zero um it was it was um home gateway home gateway and we close so it will connect to home gateway just give it some time okay so it has connected to home gateway and uh, it has not obtained ip address so i will have to check okay it has obtained ip address so i'll just go to desktop uh, iot monitor iot monitor so we log in and we can also monitor the devices from our laptop so you can see the devices are coming one by one okay so that's how it's done that's how it's done just know how to the right the components to use how to connect them how to register them and uh, probably how to add the wireless card suppose it's not installed by default so guys in the in the next class we start simulating devices one by one so let's see you in the next class please subscribe share the video and drop a comment